All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm JFam. Thank you for stopping by. We are in part two of Hogwarts Legacy, and let me tell you, this game is absolutely amazing. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be game of the year. If you missed the first part of the series, I will put a link to the in the description of the playlist. You can click there and go to part one. Other than that, I hope you enjoy part two. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments section. What house are you? I'm in Gryffindor. Other than that, let's get to the gameplay. So let's take a look. Look at the hat rack. Look at that. Gryffindor handles. That's really cool. I wonder if I could do like a... Rebellio. Anything in here that's... Wait, what? What is this? It's on the other side there. Okay. That's one way out. Looks like the only way out there. Okay. Okay, let's head out. Now, which way is the common room? Well, it's pointing me down. I guess it wants us to do the objective really quick. Okay. Why is it pointing up? Well, this is cool. Is this where we came from? I don't know, guys. We gotta find our way out of here. Well, this is all the way down. Is there another door out of here? Or is this the only door? Okay, that's the only door. Let's go up then. Take the staircase up. Mm -mm. The music is awesome. Okay, I think we're going the right way. Yeah. Oh, it's got like a path. See, it shows me where to go. I see. Okay. Must be different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Oh uh, yeah, tell me about it. They, oh, they now they want to stop talking about me. Okay. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. You can't imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. Who does Let Nelly me. think she is anyway? I'm uncomfortable. Still not working. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, we'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. This one, we're going to be just super polite. Nice well, to good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. So introduce ourselves to Garrett. Well, there's a guy up there doing cartwheels. So let's just let him burn a little more calories. We'll talk to this guy. I would really like someone. Sure, you don't want to try it? Burn it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? 
I am. She's my aunt. That must be nice. That must be awkward. Then you can do whatever you want. Well, let's go back. That'd be nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, <laughs> she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Nice meeting you, Garrett. What's that in your mug? Do you have a knack for potions, too? Let's just meet everybody and... Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. I mean, this... this... My great aunt was a Hufflepuff. What's wrong with this dude? Well, it wants us to introduce ourselves to Nelly. This hacker bats up here. How do I talk to this guy? That girl thinks she can get Shame away with you. Shame you weren't born with wings, Nelly. I'm sure you'd use them. If I get caught, I shan't offend you. Why do I get her attention? Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? Don't oh, fall off this time, Nelly. Okay. Nelly, please get down. A professor could arrive any moment. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? It's true. It was terrifying. It was nothing I couldn't handle. I suppose it's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Nice to meet you. What are people saying about my travels here? Not afraid of heights, are you? Have you ever... Uh, let's see. Let's see what they're saying. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Okay. Nice to meet you. Not afraid of heights, are you? Have you ever encountered a dragon? Let's go with that. Just nice to meet you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Either in our common room or when you... <laughs> Scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. So I, I'm not a usually like compared to Elden Ring, they kind of guide you along the way, which is cool. I'm just not used to it. I like it though. Let's take a look around the common room a little bit. Just get to know it. See what's going on. It looks. Absolutely amazing, by the way. Is there anything else we can, like, interact with here? Yeah, I think it's not going to let us kind of go outside of the actual storyline objective. This is cool. What is this here? House chess. Can't. What's this place? Huh. Okay. And spin it. Okay. That's like about it. Was just... oh, he drink tea? That's awesome. Okay. Let's see. Another globe over here. Oh, he get some snacks. Let's see. Some peanuts. Spin another globe. Can we chat with these guys? Okay. All right. Let's uh, go see what Professor Weasley is up to. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, 
You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. That's a cool book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. I like how it walks you along the story. But at the same time, this way it teaches you the game. That's really the guide I don't will know. give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. It was smart. It's boring sometimes just sitting through a tutorial before you play a game. I certainly would have appreciated <clears throat> something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Well, Professor Weasley, I can't run. Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Dude's getting sad, huh? Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide Revelio. Oh, field guide page. So, this portrait depicts the wizard Barufio. Famed for his brain elixir and is an example of what happens when incantations are pro improperly spoken. He once said S instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo on his chest. It's pretty inconvenient. You just unlocked the field guide page. Your progress towards completing challenges appear here. Um, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Take a screenshot. Oh, wrong button. Uh, this is your wizarding level XP earned from challenges, increases your level and your power. So we're level one right now. Okay. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Okay. Well, this is cool. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Okay. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Cool. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. I'm not sure if I fully understand, though, when you should use Revelio. Let's pet the cat. I heard you could do this. Oh, that's awesome. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Listen, we're petting a cat. Look at Nilly. That's our cat. He looks like that. Oh. Let's, let's give him two pets. I forget what Mrs. Weasley said. She can wait. We're gonna pet the kitty. Okay. We'll see you later, bud. Okay. Is there anything in there? Revelio. Hmm. What the heck is that on the wall? Ah, good timing. 
Okay. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh, Your sweet. field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. So, oh, look at this map. It's incredible. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and the professors live and includes the house common rooms in the Great Hall. Okay. Select the South Wing region to continue. The South Wing of Hogwarts. Select. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in this region. That's sweet. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flu flames. It's like a fast travel. And you can zoom in. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. The right side of the map is where you find academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region. Now, can I go here and do it? Okay, I can. Dude, there's a lot of flus in there. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flame. Okay, so this must be, yep, central hall travel. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay. Where are you heading? Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I'd like to look tight. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about Charms class? What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? What's Hogsmeade? We know all these if you're a Harry Potter fan, but we'll ask for those that are new. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Okay. What about defense? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, oh. we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. And I guess we'll talk about Hogsmeade real quick, even though we... You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. We're going for honesty. Speak of the devil. Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. 
You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. I like how it says Pinky Pinkerton when I'm playing. <laughs> also, if you made it this far, let me know in the comment section who has actually had Butterbeer. Like I mentioned in the intro, we have been to Universal Harry Potter World twice, went to Hogsmeade, and the one day I drank like three Butterbeers and felt terrible. <laughs> it's good to see you, Professor. Look, and Pinky you. Pinkerton. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Oh. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The quest. You can track available quest from the map. Okay, open our map up. Okay, this symbol represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Okay. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay, makes sense. Track a quest with blank to continue. So we have Defense Against the Dark's Arts class. Okay. What's this say? The field guide map shows Professor Hikats or Hakats class is in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may to I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Okay. And the field guy map shows Professor Ronan's class as the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. I may need to use the charm compass. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's start with <sighs> charm, uh, charms class. Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, so let's just... Quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. 
Cast Charmed Compass. This Charmed Compass will lead you anything you're tracking. Okay. Uh, I just kind of want to look around for a minute. Talk to you, talk to everybody. Oh, Revelio, come on, come on. Can I get that? Revelio. I wanted to. What are these papers flying around here? Well, this is. I kind of just want to look around for a second. This place looks so cool. Can you shoot those things? Hmm. What is this? Interesting. Yeah, I just kind of want to look around a little bit. What the heck is this? Let's say equip spells. We don't have that yet. Revelio. Hmm. I can't wait to do the wand ceremony. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Now, I've always said that travel, travel broadens the mind. All right, let's head to our objective. We can. It's no big deal. Let's try this. The field guy map shows Professor Ronan's class in the Shard of Wing. This castle is enormous. I may need to use a charge compass in the field guide to help me find the way. I think we already did that, to be honest with you. Let's check our field guide. These are challenges, map. I think we're actually just using the compass already. Field guide quest come back. Okay. We're doing it. Well, let's go. We'll head to the quest. All right. Oh, I see. It's kind of got like a path for you. That's kind of cool. We'll do some exploring soon. Let's just kind of follow along in the story a little bit. Look at this. This is so cool. I mean, I gotta look for a second. <laughs> Spin the globe. I mean, let's just take in the surroundings. It's incredible. Rebellion. Anything? Oh, okay. This is a chest. Sweet. Can't open it though. It's got an eyeball on it. Huh. Okay. Well, let's follow our way to class here. Can we talk to this person? Hmm. Must not have like too many random interactions. This is all right. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. I love classical music. I hear something over here. Revelio. Oh, I heard it. How awesome. Augury skeleton. This is a skeleton of an Irish phoenix of augury, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. That's pretty dark. Sweet. So we just got that. You can you have unlocked. So let's see what we unlocked actually. Let's take a look. Is there a, a rewards tab? Completed. I got some new spectacles. Cool. It's not very complicated. Okay. We'll go take a look over here real quick. Just want to kind of look around. Like I said, we're going to take our time, enjoy the process, drink some tea along the way, see if we can see anything. We found that field page. That was pretty cool. All right, let's head upstairs. Oh. We gotta discover these flues too. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh my gosh! Included. Look at look look my look! Is behind me. This promise. is awesome. <laughs> look at him. Oh, that is great. 
Oh, there's another kitty. Let's pet him. <clears throat> this one's like a charcoal grayish cat. Aw. Be funny if you got something for like petting every cat. Revelio. So we got the flu. <laughs> Not the bad type of flu, but what is this? Hmm. Just like I said, guys, look, looking around, just taking in the scenery. I think you can hear the field guide pages because I heard something in my corner of my headphones and I'm like, man, what is that? So I think that's how you kind of hear those field guide pages. I want to look in here. This place looks really cool. Oh, we found a flu too. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Nothing here. Wait, what was that? I heard something over here. Revelio. I'm hearing you guys. Everybody's got to be hearing that, right? Let me go in here. Hmm. I don't know what I was hearing. Well, this is cool. What's this? Hmm. I'm not sure where I'm hearing that, but all right, let's head to class. I love that classical music in the background as well. It's really awesome, dude. You can run pretty fast. I don't think that's necessary. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. 